the Spanish language is incredibly diverse. For example, the Spanish word for sugar, azúcar, originates from Arabic, used by the Muslim Moors who dominated Spain for centuries. Of the 20 most common surnames in Spain, seven are Germanic in origin, such as Fernandez, Rodriguez, and González. What's really interesting about the Spanish language is the fact that it originated as a Latin dialect spoken in the northern regions of Muslim-dominated Spain, which spread out and went on to dominate Spain and then the globe. To learn about the Spanish language, we will explore the linguistics of of Spain throughout history. Spanish began as a dialect of the Latin language. Latin was spoken all across the Roman Empire, which spanned from the Levant to Northern England. Latin, with its origin in Italy, was part of the Indo-European language family, which spread throughout Eurasia by prolific horsemen, known as Yamnaya. Their ability to conquer and subjugate the docile agricultural communities that had emerged from the Middle Eastern agricultural revolution is the reason that today, Indo-European languages are spoken from the west coast of Ireland all the way to India. Spain was one of Rome's first overseas provinces beyond the Italian island and remained under Roman control for 500 years. Such is the influence of vulgar Latin on the Spanish language that it accounts for about 75% of the Spanish lexicon. During Roman times, a plethora of Latin dialects coexisted on the Iberian Peninsula. However, only one Castilian would go on to become modern-day Spanish. Spain would have to wait 1,500 years until this dialect would come to dominate. During this interval period of 1,500 years, massive migrations from inside Inside and outside of Spain would impact the development of this dialect into modern Spanish. As the Roman Empire began to degenerate and their borders shrank, Germanic tribes spread out and asserted their dominance over the power vacuum that had been left in Spain in the post-Roman world. The Germanic tribes were also Indo-European speakers, similar to the Italics of Italy or the Celts of pre-Roman Spain, who all descend, as mentioned, from the Yamnea people of the Pontic Steppe. Vandals sacked the city of Rome. The Goths conquered Ukraine. The Vis the Visigoths ruled Spain between the 5th and 8th centuries. Their descendants became a warrior elite who did not intermarry with the native Latin speakers. Their warrior elite status is reflected in modern Spanish lexicon by the adoption of several Germanic military words, such as banda meaning regiment, balir meaning to shoot, and bouquet the Spanish for ship. Roman Christendom was fragmented and weak. Spain at the periphery was vulnerable to external invasions. In 711 AD, Muslim forces invaded and within seven years conquered the Iberian Peninsula. It became one of the great Muslim civilizations. By 720, Spain was largely under Muslim, or Moorish as it was called, control. During this time period, the languages spoken were Andalusian Arabic and Mozarabic. Arabic, which first emerged in the northwest of the Arabian Peninsula, is a member of the Semitic family of languages, which also includes Hebrew and Aramaic. Arabic spread with the Moorish colonists. Though the number of Moorish colonists was small, many native Iberian inhabitants converted to Islam. Most people during this time, however, spoke Mozarabic, which was a Latin language written in the Arabian script. This linguistic miscegenation between Arabic and Latin resulted in Spanish, often having both Arabic and Latin derived words with the same meaning. For example, aceituna and oliva for olive, alacran and escorpion for scorpion, and jaqueca and migraña for migraine. It is estimated that 4,000 words or 8% of the Spanish dictionary is of Arabic origin. In the preceding centuries, the reconquest of Spain was led by tiny Christian kingdoms, which banded together and over the centuries managed to push the Moorish forces further and further south. On 2nd January 1492, the leader of the last Muslim stronghold in Granada surrendered to the armies of a recently united Christian Spain. For the next 100 years, forced conversion of the Muslim and Jewish Spanish population was overseen by the Spanish Inquisition. However, these people known as Moranas and Moriscos respectively continued to face persecution at the hands of the Spanish Christians. Millions were forced to migrate back to North Africa. However, Many chose South America as their safe haven, which has been postulated as the reason for Spanish words of Arabic origin being common in South American Spanish-speaking countries. For example, the Arabic-derived word for jewel, al haja is very common in Mexico, whereas in Spain it is restricted to rural areas of the southern half of the country. The alternative 
Spanish term, joya being much more common. This reconquest was spearheaded by the Kingdom of Castile. The dialect of Latin spoken in this region, known as Castilian, is what would go on to spread and become what we know today as Spanish. Interestingly, despite Castilian being very much an Indo-European language, the military success and later dominance of the Castilians in defining the language of Spain would bring about a tremendous reintroduction of a pre-Indo-European influence back into the Spanish language. The Basque people were descendants of the Neolithic farmers who migrated to Europe from the Middle East 9,000 years ago. While most of Spain became overwhelmed by later Indo-European invasions by the Yamnaya people such as Celtic and later Latin the Basque region, continued to preserve their distinctive pre-Indo-European culture and language. Many Castilians who took part in the Reconquista and later repopulation campaigns of Muslim Iberia were of Basque lineage and would have been bilingual in Basque and Castilian. The change from Latin fa to Spanish H has been ascribed to the influence of these Basque speakers, in which there was never the F sound. For example, when comparing Spanish to Italian, many of the words have a similar spelling except for the change from F to H. For example, the word for smoke is fumo in Italian, but humo in Spanish. Uh, the word for ant is formica in Italian, but hormiga in Spanish. And the word for liver is fegato in Italian, but higado in Spanish, for the most part. These are the key migratory events that influence the development of the Spanish language. After the reconquest by the Castilians, their language went on to dominate the majority of Spain and spread with the conquistadors to the New World. The Spanish became wealthy with the influx of the vast array of newly discovered resources of the New World. This influx of wealth and resources to Spain brought with it new words adopted from the subjugated American civilizations, such as the word tomate meaning tomato and chocolate meaning chocolate. Reflecting on the development of Spanish, I find it interesting how Spanish originated as an obscure vestigial language, a remnant of the fallen empire of Rome, which stood on the brink of extinction in the northern shores of the Iberian Peninsula. Their speakers regained their strength and over the centuries recovered their position in Spain, in doing so becoming unshackled from then rapidly becoming the language of the new elites of the South American continent. The future of Spanish lies in the American continent, with mass migration of immigrants from South America to the United States and Spanish speakers already making up 62 million individuals, nearly 20% of the U.S. population. As this portion of the population rises in the world's largest economy, the importance of Spanish will follow. If you would like to improve your English language skills while taking part in online discussions on historical topics, such as in this video, please sign up in the link provided. We are building an online community for English language learners with curious minds.